the biggest island district of Bangladesh. Bula is a delta island. There are two main rivers in this district which are Meghna and Ketulia. From the Dhania Ghat, we are heading to the east in the Meghna River. A cup of life is going to tell a story of Madhichor, officially known as Baroipur. Let's visit how the people live in the middle of Meghna River. There are many chores in Meghna River. Chores in Bangladesh are highly erosive and prone to floods and many natural disasters. However, the Baroipur chore have been able to stabilize and survive. As soon as you reach the Baroipur chore, people here will invite you with generous smiles. As you walk along the village path, you will be lost in the green ceremony. According to a 1996 report by the Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics, the soils of chores in the downstream area are relatively more fertile. By cultivating crops in fertile open fields, the people here meet their food needs. They cultivate various vegetables, rice, mustard, and so many seasonal foods. By boat, they cross the Magna River and sell them in Bhola city market. Many chores grow grass over a wide area. All these grass lands are used as wood posture for cattle. Dried grass or haze are used as shade materials of hearts. <coughs> Around 5,000 of people live in this Madhichor. They are very industrious and struggling. Children are getting primary education by five schools. For medical treatment, they go to Bhola Shadur. There is a cyclone center where they take shelter when any natural disaster occurs. of chore make a living by raising domestic animals. They raise cows, goats, poultry, turkey and sell them in the city market. There is a huge demand of these animals as they are organically raised. As you walk along the tranquil nature here, you will see a picture of normal life of the people of Baroipur There is no sign of depression on their face even after working hard and struggling every day. They are in no hurry like the busy life of the city. Everyone living in the middle of the river is as pure as water. Life is very subtle and simple here, but I wonder from where they find all the happiness in their mind? Paddy is the main food grain of Bangladesh. 
various types of paddy are cultivated in the fertile soil of Barunpur throughout the year. From sowing paddy to taking rice home, there is no leisure for the farming family. Women are busy drying paddy in the yard of every house. It's hard for me to handle the urge to touch these golden grains. Many communities living in this shore are engaged in fishing for most of the year. They catch many kind of fishes in the middle of river by weaving nets with yarns. The taste of hilsha fish is out of the world. Hilsha fish of Meghna river is also exported outside Bangladesh. You have to go to primitive town of village to get a taste of nature. Freshly plucked coconut water will quench your thirst. You can have a divine taste. No matter how much we be fascinated of modern city, the nature of the village is the root of our existence. Being tired from the city life, one has to return to this nature to get ultimate peace of mind. If you are raised in a village, you can recall your childhood memories in a minute. Even the children who have grown up in a captive life of the city seem to have no limit of joy in the rural nature. There is no end of being surprised when they come to the open nature. It's a big responsibility to make our children close to nature. There is no doubt that the beauty of Bangladesh will calm your mind. I am taking a lesson with me by watching the normal life of Baraipur Chor. I don't need much in life to be happy. It's time to take goodbye. Thank you Baraipur, giving you lots of good wishes 